Good morning, Kinders, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> it doesn't really matter as long as you watch it. Uh, today we are doing a fiction story. It's realistic fiction because I think it is. Um, there are th things in it that can actually happen. Um, it is called Someone Bigger. It is by Jonathan Emmett, illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. So because it's fiction, we're going to do our seal chart today, which you're going to be listening for main characters, setting, where does it take place, what happened first, next, and in the end. So be listening for those things so we can do it as we go through. Someone bigger. And you can see this is another one of those big books, so I have to hold it down here on my lap so you can see most of it. I'm sorry if I still can't get all of the pictures in. Uh, so, Jonathan Emmert is the author, which means he did the words, and the illustrator, Adrian Reynolds, did the pictures. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They'd made it large. They'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Sorry about that shadow. There it is. Ooh, it's way up high. How do you think that made Sam feel when his dad said, No, you're too small. We, you need someone bigger. Might have felt sad. Might have felt a little disappointed. Let's pause for a second. So we have, for characters, we have Sam... Oh, my pen is running out. And we have Dad, right? Oh, that's his name, so I need to make it a capital because it's a special name. Oh, I know why it's running out, because this isn't actually my pen. Okay. No. Let's see. Setting. Where is the setting? Where do you fly a kite? outside. Outside. Alright. Let's see what happens. Then Dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight, while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard, and the kite flew high, and pulled Sam's dad into the sky, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. If the kite is pulling Sam's dad, would Sam be able to fly it? It would pull him even further, wouldn't it? The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber, escaped from jail. Oh boy. A policeman riding on a horse, a bridegroom and his bride, of course, but all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger.
And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. Ooh, okay, so we need to do some of our seal chart. So what happened first? They made a kite. A kite. And it pulled... Oh, my marker's running out. And it pulled Dad into the sky. Oops, that needs to be capital again because it's his name. Keep forgetting that. So then what happened in the middle? Next. All the people... People, oh man, tried to pull it down, right? They all tried to pull it down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have they been able to pull it down yet? There's so many people on there. I last lost track of how many y'all are all on there. But all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. Oh my goodness. That was one tough kite and a strong wind. And other creatures from the zoo. A tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. So, realistically, a kite can be flied, flown, and a, a dad and a son could make a kite and they could go fly a kite. But could a kite pull up all those people and all of these animals? Mm, nope, that's why it's fiction. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. But then, Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. Why do you think that happened? Do you think Sam really was stronger than all of those people? And creatures? And all of that? What do you think happened? Why did he grab it and his feet stayed on the ground? And one by one, they came back down. Everyone from zoo and town. Rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. Postman, policeman, robber, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small, and as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. So what do you think? Do you think it was a, a special kite that needed Sam to fly it? Do you think that he was the very last weight that it needed to finally stop flying away?
What do you think? It doesn't really say. That means it's up to you to decide. So in the end, what happened? Sam made it stop. Right? He finally was the one to make it stop flying away. I hope that you have a wonderful day.